Hello everyone, my name is Travis Spencer. Welcome to this screencast where I'll be describing the new NTrust IDAS integration available in the Curity Identity Server version 6.7.3. In this demonstration, I'll show you how we can take an OAuth client or an OpenID Connect relying party, integrate that with the Curity Identity Server that will transparently and immediately redirect to the NTrust IDAS platform where the user will log in. It will then turn around and, and issue a temporary authorization code to the Curity Identity Server, which it will redeem for an access token and identity information that it will then uh, use to populate claims that are issued to the originating OAuth client. To see how this flow works, the first thing I'll do is show you in OAuth tools how we can integrate directly with NTrust IDAS. So in here I have an environment and in that environment I have uh, my issuer that I've used to populate uh, these different endpoints from the metadata and I've also configured a client and I'll show you that client set up in the NTrust IDAS platform here in a second. So we can select that client now and some various scopes and we can enable Pixie and we can start the code flow like this. So that redirects us directly over to the Entrust IDAS platform. So we're not going via Curity just yet. So just to show you how we can make the direct connection uh, from an OpenID Connect relying party, uh, in particular OAuth tools into the IDAS platform. So we'll go ahead and select the user to log in with, and I'll enter the password. And now I'll use my um, Entrust identity application and get a one-time usage code for this user. And now I should be logged in and that will complete the flow once I authorize it and consent to the release of those claims. And so now you can see here we have an ID token and importantly, we can see that the issuer of this was actually uh, Entrust. Okay, so let's now look at the Entrust application setup. So I have two applications here and the one that we just used was OAuth tools. So what I've done here is I've created a new application called OAuth tools. It's a web application. It has that client ID that we just saw. And here it's doing um, client secret basic authentication and it has the redirect of uh, OAuth tools and also the logout and can do the various flows that we configured in that environment and it requires Pixie. Okay. We have one other application in our list here, which is security. So now that we've seen how we can do OpenID connect directly to the IDAS platform, let's see how we can set up security to be an intermediary between our OAuth client and uh, IDAS. So here I've made a, a second application. This is also a location type. Uh, this has a, a client ID and a secret, still using uh, client secret basic authentication. I've also configured some redirect URIs and I've only enabled uh, one particular flow here because that's all that that Curity needs. I also have Pixie enabled and uh, I am exposing all these different scopes including some custom ones like the authenticators and the groups. So with that then we can connect through to Curity, which we'll show you here in a second. But first, let's look at the authenticator that we have. So in my authentication profile, I have an authenticator. And one of those authenticators is of type Entrust. So what I've done here is uh, I've enabled all those different scopes that you saw there in the Entrust application for this matching authentication type. The client ID, not for, for OAuth tools, but for the Curity application and it's secret. And I've also said to relay the prompt. So if my client application sends a prompt equals login, the authenticator will pass that through up into Entrust so that uh, the user has to log in anew there. I also, instead of configuring the issuer URL like uh, like we did to, to configure OAuth tools that I just done is said, uh, running in the, the Ireland environment and, and I have a, a tenant name of Curity. So that's all there was to that. Um, the one thing I also did is in my OAuth client that can use this, I have here um, restricted that client to only be able to log in with Entrust. So as a result, there's no authentication selection going on in Curity. It just passes directly through. 
There's one more small detail I want to show you just because I want the actual authentication class context reference or ACR that's issued by Entrust to pass directly through. So what I've done is I have added a token issuance procedure where if in the context attributes I get a, an attribute called upstream ACR then I replace the ID tokens ACR. So we'll go ahead and, and use Entrust. This is optional configuration. You don't have to do this unless you want to use the ACRs of uh, Entrust rather than Curity. So that's all there is to that. Uh, we have our client application. Uh, we have that using the authenticator and we have the application for Curity configured in Entrust. Now we can go to OAuth tools and we can use a different flow here where we're going against the local environment instead of my, my Entrust environment. And here I'm using that client one, which was able to log in only with the Entrust authenticator and some Curity specific uh, scopes or, or scopes that are configured in Curity. They match up um, with the same ones in Entrust, but they could be different. Uh, I'm not using Pixie. I could be using JAR and PAR and things like that because there is those two different OpenID Connect providers in play here. So they could end up doing slightly different flows if, if we wanted to. So go ahead and start this flow off. I'm going to get redirected to Curity like we saw in that diagram at the beginning. And then we're going to get redirected um, right back to uh, the OAuth client because we have that uh, login session. So if we do that prompt there, we're going to get redirected to Curity and then we're going to get redirected to IDAS and we should see a, a screen because it's going to ignore the SSO session there at IDAS. So this, this helps you to um, see the flow that was in that original diagram. So let's go ahead and log in as Teddy. And here we, we want a token. So let's go ahead and get one. And now it, we logged in at IDAS and we went back via Curity and we got this authorization code which we automatically redeemed. Again, this is issued by Curity so we can introspect this. Uh, we can see here that the issuer is, is T. Spencer Curity Engrock instead of uh, one at, uh, um, at the Entrust domain like before when we went from OAuth tools directly to, to the IDAS platform. Also the ID token uses the same issuer. We can see also that the claims were uh, passed through from, from IDAS like the email, family name, phone number, uh, name. And I didn't show you that in the Curity configuration. So let me show you that real quick. So we have here those scopes that were requested. It was things like uh, um, profile and the profile has different different claims in there and we can see that these are, are being sourced from the authentication subject attributes. So the ones that the Entrust authenticator put into there are being used as the, the source of those claims. So that's how we pass that through. And then also we can see here that the ACR is actually the one that was uh, issued by um, Entrust IDAS instead of, of Curity Zone. So that's a, a quick demo showing you the Entrust IDAS integration that's available in Curity 6.7.3. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks.